Flyers Justin here and got Odin as well if you maybe see his head. So I'm going to do another uh, lifestyle and food challenge and it's going to be a little bit shorter than the last time. So last time I did 30 days of paleo autoimmune. This one's only going to be 10 days. Even though it's shorter in length, I think it's going to be more difficult than the last challenge. I'm going to do 10 days. Uh, I'm going to do 24 hours of fasting, which I'm doing now. I'm about 13 hours, 14 hours into that right now. And then I'm gonna do 24 hours of feeding. So we're gonna alternate through that for about 10 days, just kinda of see how my body reacts. And I'm still gonna keep the paleo autoimmune protocol. This is probably the best I've felt, best my stomach's felt, and probably the best I've slept in a long time. So I'm gonna be doing that. And I'm gonna be grading this on a scale of look, feel, and perform. So looks, basically, if I think my body composition looks better, I look leaner, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I'll have a score of say one to five. And then feel, if I'm sleeping, if I'm in a good mood, if I'm not grouchy and Robin's getting ready to hurt me, I'll give that a higher score. And then perform, I'm just gonna see how I feel in the workout. So if I'm getting absolutely demolished and feel terrible, probably get a lower score. But if I feel great, we'll kind of see. We'll see how the scale slides as we go along throughout these 10 days. Like I said, I'm about 15 hours into my fast right now and I'm gonna eat at 7 p.m. tonight. So until I get there, what I'm looking to do is I have a private client I'm getting ready to go train, then I'm gonna coach, and then I'm gonna come back this evening and work out, and then I have some photography stuff that I have to do tonight, and I'll kind of keep you updated along the way. And this video will hopefully be about two days worse, so one day of fasting, one day of feeding, and I'll do that for five videos. Uh, we'll be right back and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So you may be asking like, why are you doing this? Well, one, I've always struggled with my weight. Uh, I've been a little bit heavier, I always carried a little bit more body fat and that kind of led me into the whole fitness game and why we opened the gym and a couple other things that hopefully I'll go into in the future. So to help me better myself and change body composition, make me feel better, perform better and just be generally healthier, I've had to try different things that would normally be a little bit easier for other people. Uh, it's always been a struggle with me. Uh, highest I've ever been is like 290 pounds-ish, somewhere through there, and uh, my head was really big. It was as big as this air fryer I'm staring at, or a medicine ball. So, had problems with that, and then I found CrossFit, and learned about the zone diet and all that, and zone diet's kind of challenging if you're gonna weigh and measure, like we talked about in the last video of Robin doing her thing. It was uh, constantly weighing and measuring, and just always having to have a scale with you is kind of tough. So I'm also trying to figure out a way where something sustainable for me, where I don't have to have a scale to measure everything. So if I'm out eating or with my friends or something like that, or at the gym function, I can have some food and not freak out about the numbers. Right now I'm currently about 236 pounds and uh, we'll see what happens after these 10 days. So it's always a good thing to try different things. There's a quote in Alice in Wonderland that says, you have to run as hard as you can just to stay in the same place. It's kind of how life is to me. You have to continue to keep building, moving, working hard, and never get comfortable. And speaking of not getting comfortable, I'm getting ready to head to the gym right now and do a workout that consists of power cleans, burpees, and deadlifts. Uh, all at 135, quite a bit of reps loaded on the backside. And we're gonna see how that feels completely fasted. It is now 3.25 in the p.m. And uh, I'll give you an update how I feel afterwards. that workout is terrible felt like I had a mama narwhal on my chest I couldn't breathe uh, Taryn spanked me so hopefully in the next few days I'll kind of regulate and be better tonight after I get some food see you shortly and it's about 10 o'clock guys I finally got something to eat about 8 p.m. so I actually fasted for 25 hours now I'm back here at the house I end up having some chicken uh, quite a bit of dried bananas and some olives. So probably had over 100 grams of carbohydrates, about 70 or 80 grams of protein, I'm guessing from a rotisserie chicken, and then some olives. No clue how much fat, but I had some fat. And then, it's pretty good. Uh, came home, Robin is prepping, so the kitchen's <laughs> underway right now with her amazing food. Right here we have some 
watermelon she's cutting up. Let's have a cantaloupe. More fruit over here. She's making sweet potatoes. Mom, what's in the sweet potatoes? Uh, garlic powder, salt, thyme, and just oil of choice. So I used olive oil, but sometimes we like to use coconut oil. It's amazing. It's my favorite, absolute favorite thing she makes for sweet potatoes. And in the oven, we That's have some. About to... Actually, oh, it's fogged up the screen. Oh no. Good. It's all right. I got it. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> they're, they're about ready to be taken out. I'm just charring them. Um, these are cauliflower steaks and in the pan, I don't want Odin to burn himself. I've got rutabagas, <laughs> uh, beets, and carrots. So just kind of a root vegetable mix. Yeah, so Robin makes these root vegetables every week. They're so good. That and the sweet potatoes. Because I don't eat much, a lot of fruit, but tonight is kind of stressed for time. and. That's about all they have at Ingles to get some uh, quick calories in, but the sweet potatoes, definitely a staple. I did also actually make some deviled eggs um, and homemade mayo, so we can do a recipe for that sometime. Yeah, and buy our chocolate if you hadn't had it, it's really good. <laughs> and <laughs> That's about it, so look, feel, perform, feel, it's too early to tell, it's just been one day. Uh, so I say look, I hope I said look. You said look. Uh, feel, uh, feel okay. I felt a little rough right before the workout. Just, I don't know, just weird. Not a lot of energy. Did the workout, crushed me, and then headed off to Kingsport to meet with Pat. And then I would say feel probably out of five, probably three or four. Not too bad, honestly. Perform, on the other hand, that's a, that's a different one. Did not perform the best in the world today, but that's okay. We'll see if it kind of regulate and get a little bit better throughout. And we'll go from there. And I will see you all tomorrow with to continue my 24 hours of eating. I'll probably eat as soon as I can get up and kind of walk you through a day of what that's going to look like. Have a good night. Bye. Jump if you love me. Jump if you love me. See you.